What is going on guys? My name is Halvi and today I'm bringing you a kind of commentary type-ish thing on this beautiful map of uh, <laughs> Strike Zone, which I guess is kind of like the map that I use for almost everything. Well, it's just so easy to get really good gameplays on. Um, sorry if I'm like a little loopy guys. I'm working my midnight to 8 shift. Uh, for those of you that don't know, which is almost all of you I think, I work, I dispatch ambulances and so essentially while I'm not dispatching ambulances, uh, or in the terms of whenever there's not an emergency going on, there's nothing that's really going on except for me just sitting here. So I figured, hey, I'll crank out a commentary for you guys. Uh, so this gameplay is a pretty decent, solid little gameplay that I got. Um, actually, if you guys pay attention right now, uh, this is a. If I'm going to be starting a series coming soon, soon hopefully, but. Uh, Essentially, um, I want you to look at this and see the, the, the way that I started this game really is a good way to start this, this map if you're spawning from the, de uh, the bottom side. Um, you get, it's really easy to get some good kills if you can position, your, position yourself right. But uh, yeah, that's not what this commentary is about. Um, you guys can enjoy the gameplay in the back as I chat. But one of the things that I wanted to tell you about today is, um, for those of you that don't know again, which is probably most of you, I have a motorcycle. Uh, I drive a Kawasaki Ninja 300. Uh, I'm actually six foot three, so I'm pretty tall, and a 300 is a pretty small engine. Um, but essentially, the way that it is, the frame is very, is very. It's a sport bike. Uh, for those of you that don't know your your engines and your motorcycles and whatnot, um, and because the bike is so light, essentially it actually still functions as a higher powered engine because the bike is really light so it's pretty it's pretty nice it's a really good starter bike it's my first bike well anyways um, my buddy my roommate actually got uh, the same type of bike as me as well we both uh, took our trading together and stuff and he finally got his a couple uh, probably like half a year after I got mine well crazy story he actually totally biffed it um, <laughs> the first ride we ever took it was hilarious it was crazy it was absolutely crazy but it was kind of funny um, because he ended up being fine but let me just tell you I wanted to tell you guys this because it is the most surreal experience it was we were coming back late at night and um, I th he just he he was taking a corner and he took it a little bit too uh, too fast because he wasn't used to the corners and but I was a little ways behind him and mind you it's pretty dark so I just see his, you know the bike and the lights and stuff and it was so crazy because I'm watching and as he's taking this turn and I'm like, wait a second, he's not, he's not going to make it. And I just see the bike launch straight up in the air. Like I kid you not, it probably launched up in the air, like 20 feet in the air. And, and, and that's realistic because it hit a bank. It hit a dirt bank on the side of the road. But you know, this, the bike's going probably like 50 miles an hour at this point. So if you're going 50 miles an hour and you hit a bank, you're going to launch. So I see this bike go straight up into the air. And then it comes down, straight back down, hits the ground, and then does like a flip and then explodes onto the pavement. And I was just, oh my goodness, this is insane. Um, my first thought was, I don't remember, I just remember being like, oh my gosh. That was pretty much my first initial impression. It was like, whoa, this is crazy. Um, I remember thinking that I had no idea like what I was actually seeing. It literally looked like he just started going straight up in the air. It was like alien abduction status. But uh, needless to say, he'd pull up and he, he's sitting on the ground and he just kind of raises his hands at me and was just like, whoa. But needless to say, he was fine. We ended up going, he, um, we drove his car, his bike back the few feet or a few hundred feet back to his house, um, which was lucky. And um, he ended up being fine, but his car or his bike was totaled. And so we ended up having to, um, uh, his insurance ended up covering it and stuff. But that was a crazy story. So lesson to be learned. Drive safe, people. I've been driving mine for six months. I've never had an accident. But, uh, yeah, anyway, stay beautiful, guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.